the Brent Tech here where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, I let you know that as our next annual feature update draws nearer, which is Windows 11 24H2, that Microsoft had started finalizing the next optional bug fix C release update, KB5041865, in the release preview channel, which was a minor update originally, which only included three improvements. Now, I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen for what it's worth. But just to let you know that the next day, Microsoft actually updated the release notes for KB5041865 to include a couple of extra improvements, fixes, and a new feature, which are on a gradual rollout. So you may see these at the get-go. You may not. And um, this obviously applies if you are in the release preview channel or if you have received and have got your hands on a Copilot Plus PC already. Now, the first uh, improvement Microsoft says is that if you right-click on an app, if the option is enabled um, under your settings system for developers uh, in the settings app, the end task option no longer shows a not responding dialog before it stops a task. And, uh, and this option is only available, as mentioned, when you turn this on in the settings. And to some extent or the other, some of these fixes have already rolled out and the new feature has actually rolled out already to the stable version. And the new feature is for the File Explorer. So when you right click a tab, you have the choice to duplicate it. Now, the stable version actually received this uh, before version 24H2. So as you can see, if you are using tabs, that's a nice move in the right direction. So 24H2 in release preview channel now has also received that feature. So that's the new feature. Now focusing on the File Explorer because everything else now is for the File Explorer bring, bring in fixes, which is always a good thing. So it seems that Microsoft could be making the File Explorer a lot more stable and bringing a bit more stability into the File Explorer with version 24H2, which I'm always in favor of and favor for. So apparently there was a memory leak occurring when you interact with archive folders and that's been addressed. Um, the file explorer was stopping to respond when you browse within it. So obviously that would be moving around to different aspects of the file explorer. Um, that's an important fix. And when you search from home, Apparently, when you search uh, from home f for the first time, you might not get any results. The next one is apparently the address bar drop-down menu might appear when you do not expect it. And when you use the save dialog to save a file to gallery, an error occurs. Because of this, um, update your file saves to the pictures library instead. So that's a, quite an important fix. And then the search box does not show the correct folder name when you are in gallery. So if you are in gallery and you are using the search box, apparently it wasn't showing the correct folder. And the back and forward mouse buttons do not work when you hover over the recommended file section of home. And then the last fix is for the gallery once again, where images were flashing when you view them in the gallery that's a fix that's been rolled out. So some important fixes there for the File Explorer, um, which I'm always happy to see. But still, as I've mentioned, there are still no fixes yet for the white flashbangs and also, which I've mentioned previously. And I'll actually leave this video linked down below and in the end screen. You can see when you open up the File Explorer, it opens up in two halves. You first get the main body and then the the um, rest of the File Explorer, the the, the title bar, the search, and your, your toolbar and so on loading after the main body. So I'll leave that video linked down below because that's an ongoing f issue that Microsoft needs to fix. But nonetheless, um, it is moving in the right direction. At least Microsoft is paying attention to the File Explorer. And that's more or less what we can expect to see with our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 24H2, KB5041865. And when that rolls out, and if you do decide to install the update because it's optional, the Windows 11 build will be bumped up to 26,100.1586. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.